Hi everyone and welcome to my new video. In this video, we are going to be reviewing one interesting product that I've got. It's ThinkNote M1. Firstly, I'm going to say a couple of words about this device and show you how it actually works and what it offers. And after that, we are going to do a test outside and see it in action. So ThinkNote M1 is a device that we can use uh, to communicate over radio, over a LoRa network. But what makes this device really interesting is that it offers us to load, for example, Meshtastic and use Meshtastic uh, on this device. It, it offers us to create a mesh network and communicate uh, over LoRa with the devices that are part of that mesh network. We are not a dependent on any network provider. We are not dependent on anything. We are just using um, the, the LoRa communication and we can send messages, we can send uh, location uh, information, we can send sensors data and so on with the devices that are part of that mesh network. I don't know, it seems interesting to me. For example, we can use these devices when we are on a hike uh, with our peers, we can communicate, we can chat with our peers, we can send our location without GSM connection, without anything. Also, for example, if you live, imagine, in a crowded city, probably there are going to be people uh, with these devices. Uh, and, I don't know, communicate with those people seems interesting to me. If you meet someone over radio, uh, probably that person is going to have similar, so, uh, similar interests like you have and you can make friends using these devices. <laughs> so let's get started, see what it offers and make a test outside. Let's get started. So let's see what the device offers. So we can use this knob here in order to turn the device on or adjust the brightness. As you can see, we can adjust the brightness with it. It's got an antenna. It is calibrated to work at 868 megahertz. That is the band that is used by LoRa. Uh, we can turn off the GPS and we can turn on using this slider here. This button uh, is used to turn on and off the, the light of the display. This button here is used to uh, go through the menu and through, go through the pages that are available now in the device. We have a charging port. This port also can be used uh, for installing some other firmwares if we like. And this is a reset button here. Overall, I like the design. It is pretty small and I don't know, it is really well made. We can put it in our pocket and go outside and try to communicate with some other peers that are in the same mesh network. So let's see it in action. Welcome back. I'm here with my friend uh, outside. And we are gonna perform a test with our devices. I'm gonna be using my ThinkNote M1. He's got his own device. The test that we are gonna perform is uh, how well these devices work and uh, how precise uh, their location is. How I said previously on my bench, I won't use any provider, so these devices can work without any provider, without internet. And that is basically a good test uh, because um, for example, if you're stuck somewhere in the woods and if you are with your peers, that is really handy to have such a device and see um, whether they can be helpful. We are gonna, someone of, of us will hide in the woods and the other one will try to find him and see how they actually work. So let's get started. Here it is, as you can see, my friend texted me with a hi. I can reply to his message. I'm sending another message, pretending that I'm lost and I'm saying, try to find me. I'm gonna try to 
see him on the map. I'm here. So his device is FD40. And my device is there. I texted him, can you see me on the map? Let's imagine how handy it is. For example, if you're on a hike with your friends and you lost and it is a good idea to have such a device. Yes, he can. I can see the message here, but as well on this great display that the device has. I'm coming your way. Nice. As I can see, his device is reaching uh, myself. I'm pre pretending that I'm lost. As you can see, I'm I'm hiding behind this tree and waiting for my friend. He's reaching out. As you can see, the FD40 icon is reaching myself. Yep, and he's here. As you can see, he found myself. Let's see when he comes closer to me, how precise the location will be. They're reaching to me. Yeah. Seems that seems that they were great. <laughs> really precise. On you. <laughs> um, a bit less, I would say. I mean, I was expecting a bit more precise location because we had this on uh, the precisest thing you can get. But again, this is good enough for, uh, good for enough, the woods. Good enough. I would say that it is good enough. Uh, so, yep. I'm satisfied, actually. So, so for the end, I want to say thank you for watching. If you like electronics, if you like gadgets like this one or anything related to technology, please consider subscribing to my channel. It means a lot to me and it motivates me to continue uh, doing what I'm currently doing. So thank you for that. See you in the next video. So bye bye.